Why is her name Butter if she buys butter? In this video, this German is gonna try some very hard English tongue twisters. We are Diana and Phil. Diana's from the United States and I'm from Germany, although I speak English. Diana was learning German and we just did that tongue twister video in German, but now it's my time to suffer and I'm curious to see what you came up with. Tongue twisters are just a sequence of words that make similar sounds. Often they are alliterations, which are just a repeat of the starting letter and sound. So we're gonna get into it. This first one is probably one of the most common ones. So I'll English. have you read it. I heard about that one before. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. You have to read all of those lines. Oh! It's, just... it's four lines. Yeah. Why are they so long in English? Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. A pack of pickled peppers pe Peter Piper picked. If Peter, if Peter, <laughs> if Peter <laughs> Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers, where's the pack of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? <sighs> I feel fun. like a different person saying that. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. I think this one's really common. Also, people tend to mess up the last line. Why well, you do it? Yeah, do I it know. Better. I'm do it quick. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm gonna do it better. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. A pack of a pack of pick a pack of pickled pe peppers. Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled pe pickled peppers, where the pep where's the pe <laughs> where's the pack of pickled Peter. <laughs> Where's the pack of pickled peppers Peter picked? Alright, let me do it one more time. Yeah. Okay. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. A pack of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a pack of... Bah! Of pickled peppers, where's that pack of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Oh, good. That was good. Alright, next. Alright, now he's getting cocky. Uh, you know, tongue twisters, they make things come out of your mouth that you don't have in your brain, right? Yeah. You say something else that then you think. And I feel like with age, that happens in everyday life <laughs> a constantly. lot too. This next one is a super common one too. I feel like you learn all these in elementary school and everyone tries it and they're like, Wah, See, you have an advantage. You'd practice them all your life from childhood. And uh, and I'm sitting here uh, seeing No, them no one does time. this all their life. No one practices this every year. Oh, wood, it's about wood. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck chuck could wood, sorry. <laughs> How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How he would chuck, he would as much as he could, and chuck as much wood. As a woodchuck would, if a woodchuck could chuck wood. Ba, 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 ba. I think you have to kind of make it into a song, so. This sounds like a song, yeah. this one. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? He would chuck, he would, he would chuck you wood as much as he could, and chuck as much as, and, and, and chuck as much wood. As a woodchuck would, if a woodchuck could chuck wood. It's a song. Yeah. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? wood? He, he would check it. He would, would, would. Alrighty, that is making us look very. Uh... <laughs> Can we even speak English? I just saw this when I re researched it, and I thought maybe the ths would be difficult again, but we'll see. The th 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 Tom through Tim three thumbtacks. What? What's a thumbtack? <laughs> a thumbtack. <laughs> a a thumb thumbtack. Thumbtack. What? Tom through Tim three thumbtacks. Tom through Tim three thumbtacks. Tom through Tim three thumbtacks. Th th wow, we finally found one. Tom three. Th Tom through Tim three. Th Thumbtacks. Ah! Tom threw Tim three thumbtacks. Am I yeah. saying that right? Tom threw Tim three thumbtacks. Yeah. Tom threw Tim three thumb thumbtacks. Thumbtacks. <laughs> Tom, threw... Tom threw Tim three thumbtacks. That's the worst one, dude. Thumbtacks. What's a thumbtack? Uh, you know those pins? A fingerprint? But it's a flat one. It's, it has a flat thing on the usually. Uh huh. A thumbtack. Anyway, Tom should not. Throw Tim any of these. Tim doesn't want any thumbtacks. That's hot. That's a good one. Yeah. Are they all like four lines? No, Holy cow. The, just the first ones are pretty long. Betty Butter bought some butter, but she said the butter's bitter. If I put in my butter better, if I put it in my butter, it will make my butter bitter. But it, but a bit of better butter will make my butter better. So twas what? So twas twas. Oh, so twas better. Betty Butter bought a bit of better butter. Holy cow, what's well, that? That's hard, right? Why is her name Butter if she buys butter? Ah! Butter. Butter. <laughs> Alright, Betty Butter bought some butter. But she said some butter's bitter. If I put it in my butter, it will make my butter bitter. But a bit of better butter will make my butter <laughs> better. So it was better. Betty Butter bought a bit of better butter. <laughs> better butter, butter, butter. <laughs> I oh think that God. was really good. Your turn. Quick. Okay. Betty Butter bought some butter, but she said the butter's bitter. If I put it in my batter, will it make my batter bitter? But a bit of better batter will make a will make my batter better. So twas Betty. So so twas better. So twas better. Betty butter bought a butter a bit of better butter. Yeah, I can't do that. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> oh my god. That's so good. All right, this one is shorter, 
and it's about Sally. The thing I heard about Sally before, Sally sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. Yeah, I saw both Sally and she version, so I did that one. You're supposed to just repeat it as oh. many times as you can. Sally quickly. sells seashells by the seashore. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Yeah, you got that one. It's like the German ones. It's like the s to sh to s to sh, and then you mess it up at some point. Yeah, I feel like I just don't speak that fast. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Sally sells seashells. I can't do it. All right, next one. So this next one is super cute. Before I continue, we want to thank this video sponsor, FlexiSpot. FlexiSpot is a company that makes ergonomic furniture for your home, such as standing desks, office chairs, and more. They were kind enough to send us two of their E7 standing desks, and we love them. Lack of movement is increasingly becoming a problem in modern society, and we as well spend endless hours sitting in front of the computer working or playing games. So it is so nice to have the option to raise a table, stand up, and still be able to use the computer. This is very beneficial for your personal health and I can feel my posture being better whenever I switch it up. I mean, I just want to be healthy in the long run. So if you're a gamer or you work from home or you just spend a lot of time sitting, a standing desk is just a great idea. And FlexiSpot is offering them at very reasonable prices. And on top of that, there's currently a sale going on for up to 35% of their products on their website all the way until January the 10th. I really, really like our new tables. And now back to the video. I think a lot of children know this one. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy? Fuzzy Wuzzy? Fuzzy Wuzzy. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Actually, it's a longer version. It's a Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't very fuzzy, was he? Fuzzy Buzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Buzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't very fuzzy, was he? Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't very fuzzy, was he? Yeah, that's Boom. good. Boom! I wonder if the auditory is better than reading it, because you know, I think that yeah, for yeah, German, yeah, yeah. when I hear the word, it's better than reading it. I can hear it and then imitate it quickly. <laughs> I get out of your fuzzy wuzzy. Fuzzy wuzzy. This one I had never heard of before until I started Googling tongue twisters in English, so try this one. All right. Birdie birdie in the sky, later turdy in my eye. What? <laughs> if, a cow, if cows could fly, I'd have a cow pie in my eye. <laughs> that would... makes sense. That's why I that's thought it makes was so sense. funny. Birdie birdie, why is it birdie birdie, not birdie in the... Birdie birdie in the sky, later turdy in my eye, if a cow... If, if cows! Hey, one more time. Birdie birdie in the sky, lady turdy in my eye. If cows could fly, I'd have a cow pie in my eye. A cow pie in my eye. I had a cow, cow pie in my eye. eye. Cow birdie birdie in, in the sky, lady turdy in my eye. If cows could fly, I'd, I'd have, have a cow, cow pie in my eye. eye. Birdie birdie in the sky, lady turdy in my eye. If cows could fly, I'd have a cow pie in my eye. If cows could fly, uh, just imagine how expensive beef would be. It would be so much harder to catch them, right? <laughs> That's where your mind went? Yeah. That was a fun one that was new to me. <laughs> I really like that one. I remember in like second or third grade, we had to make a, a tongue twister or just make an alliteration with uh, with our names in school. So I tried to make one for Phil. Phil finds a friendly fish frolicking foolishly. That's good. Phil finds a friendly fish frolicking foolishly. Phil finds a friendly fish fro frolicking foolishly. Frolicking, frolicking foolishly. foolishly. Phil, I find a fish, a friendly fish, and he's uh, foolishly frolicking. Frolicking foolishly. 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 That's good. Yeah. You came up with that? Yeah, just now I... Uh, you have big brain. So I have good. big brain. But wow. I remember. I remember the alliteration I made in school. I made two, but I remember the first one, and I thought it was a little too morbid, so I didn't... You made the Phil one in no, no, school? No, no. That's, that's one destiny. About me. It happened. Fate. It's not about you. I did this one, Deanna's dying deadly during dinosaur days. Deanna's dying deadly during dinosaur days. But then I thought it was too morbid, so I didn't turn that one as, as my assignment. But the kid next to me did. He ended up using dinosaur days because his name was it started with a D as well and I was like oh I end up doing something about donuts that's fun it's funny yeah. Deanna's dying deadly during dinosaur days Deanna's dying deadly during dinosaur days Phil finds a friendly fish frolicking foolishly I use country singer why is the southern accent come out Deanna's dying deadly during dinosaur days I imagine that in my Deanna's head that's how it would have gone during, di during dinosaur days anyways that's good. if you have an alliteration with your name <laughs> Let us know in the comments. Yeah, write some I more wanna... down. If this is fun, uh, give us a thumbs up. And it was definitely uh, fun. Yeah, this one's fun. It's a, it's a very fun way to make ourselves feel a little stupid. Yeah. As always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye. Tschüssi. A special thank you to our patrons for supporting us and helping us to make videos like these. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.